Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering CCNA semester four, connecting networks. This is chapter six, broadband solution. This chapter is divided in three sections. Section 6.1 covers teleworking. Section 6.2 comparing broadband solution. And then we move on to section 6.3 configuring XDSL. Section 6.1, teleworking. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to explain the benefits of teleworking solution and describe the business requirement of teleworking. Introduction to teleworking. A word or term teleworking, it means that you're working away from the office, you're working from home, you're working from a field, uh, like a field engineer or anything like that. So teleworking is working away from the traditional workplace such as working from home office. The reason for choosing teleworking are varied and include everything from personal convenience to allowing sick or disabled employees, the opportunity to continue working. So we can choose to work from home if we wish to, or if our job can, can allow us to do that. Or teleworking is a great thing because it's bringing uh, lots of disabled people who are not able to actually go to work to be able to work, to do work from home as well as like a single mothers, anything like that. Efficient teleworking is possible because of broadband internet connections, virtual pri private network or VPNs, voice over IPs, VoIP, and video conferencing. The only reason why teleworking is so easy to do now is because the speed of our broadband has increased so much that a user can be working from home or from office and it will not notice like a oh, slow link or anything like that as well as we have a virtual private network to secure our communication. Some employer, employer benefits of teleworking are like improved employee productivity. They say teleworking staff is between 8 and 40% more productive than office working staff. Uh, it's like you, when you're home, you start working, that's it, you, you put 100% at that job that you're doing. In the office, I don't know, chit chats around the water cooler or whatever. So that's what they say, 40% more productive than working, office working stuff. Reduce cost and expensive, saving in real cost, estate cost, equally in anywhere from 10 to 80%. Yeah, employer doesn't have to, to rent offices so the staff can start working from there. If they're working from home, employer doesn't have to rent any, any offices. So it's gonna reduce the cost. Ease of recruitment and retention. Be, being able to offer flexibility, can reduce staff turnover by 20 percent it's true now uh, because you are offering uh, any time they can the a user or the, the worker as long as they do the job what time they do that job is not the problem so being uh, being able to offer this kind of flexibility it's it's appealing to lots of people reduced absenteeism teleworker can reduce abs absenteeism by as much as 80 percent yeah it's true you can't say, um, you know, people like phone in sick and they leave the office work for somebody else to do it. With teleworking, you kind of like have a project, a project that you have to finish at, at certain period. So whenever you want to work, you work and you finish that project. So it does reduce absenteeism here, as well as you can't complain, oh, the train strike, or, no, trains are not running or I don't know, maybe train strike or bus strike or something like that. Improved morale, improvements that offer the options of telework are often seen as family-friendly employers. These are some of the government benefits of teleworking. First, helps build a sustainable economy because now we bring in all the people who couldn't actually go to work. They are part of the workforce as well, including disabled people. Help reduce problems such as traffic, or less people going on the roads, better for the government. Increased productivity, alleviate symptoms of digital divide, reduces cost and expenses, improves flexibility and attracts growth and development. Some of the individual benefits of teleworking, productivity, over 70% of teleworkers claim that they are significantly more productive. Maybe they claim because they wanna work from home. Uh, time saving, less time commuting, so you don't have to spend, I don't know, one hour to go to work and one hour coming back from work at least, that, at least that time you can maybe spend with the family. 
cost saving, saving money on lunch, clothing and commuting, right? So you don't have to pay for the tickets to go to work as well as, I don't know, lunch, you eat for whatever is left over, whatever. And the clothing, you don't have to uh, purchase. Yeah, I don't know. You can you can work from home in your pajamas. You don't have to put your suit on. Uh, better health, less exposure exposure to sick buildings, traffic accidents, and stress. Home and family, you are able to spend more time with the family. And taking control, the teleworking can take control. Uh, the teleworker can take control over when and where work is performed, and also over the myriad of other details of modern life. Flexibility, telework can make it easier to have more flexible schedule. Detriments to teleworking. For the organization, more difficult to track employee progress. Necessary to implement a new management style. For the individual, it's feeling of the isolation, slower connection and distraction. Like for example, um, going to work is actually part of the being part of the society as well you're going outside you're meeting people you're saying hello and and that makes you feel like you are part of the society if you're working from home all day at home you know meeting anyone you start to feel you're gonna feel a bit isolated no many connection a new connection i don't know maybe at work you're gonna have a new staff you're gonna meet new people from different places and different countries and so on in london it's so diverse here and distractions, like for example, as as you are working, uh, maybe I don't know, you have some some neighbor or a friend or a family visiting and so on. So you can't do work from home. So you will your work maybe is going to start piling up. So teleworker solution. There are three primary remote connection technologies available to organization to support teleworker services. So for organization to work to support the teleworkers, they do need a broadband connection. The broadband term refers to advanced communication system capable of providing high-speed transmission of services such as data, voice and video over the internet and other networks. Now, your company is going to need a connection to broadband or VPN, uh, but they, if they offer you telework working from home, they have to pay for that as well. So you have a broadband connection towards the, towards the internet, so you can actually communicate with your employer. IPsec VPN, this is the most common option for teleworkers combined with other remote of access over broadband to establish a secure VPN over the public network internet. Now, the communication between you and uh, like head office, for example, um, if you don't use some kind of like encryption, like IPsec VPN, everything, all that communication is gonna be in the clear text, which is not very good because anybody, anybody listening to that data will be able to, well, steal your data. So we need to implement something like VPN, IPsec VPN, which is encrypted. The traffic, the communication is all encrypted between you and the head office. Traditional private wide area network layer two technology. These types of connection provide many remote connection solution and include technologies such as frame relay, ATM and lease line. Now, so there are three solutions that your, your employer can, can have. First, a broadband connection. Well, you don't need that anyway, but you can just use that for teleworkers. If you're not worried about, uh, if you don't have any worry about encrypting the data or anything in the traffic like that, then broadband connection is great. Or you can, if you're worried about the, all the data that you're transmitting over the internet, then you're gonna be using IPsec VPN. Or you can have a traditional private wide area network between maybe two sites so all the traffic is private. Teleworker connectivity requirements. These are your requirements. You have to have these at home to be able to perform teleworker duties. Um, home office components. For example, uh, the required home office components are laptop. You cannot definitely have a, need to have a computer, some laptop or desktop computer. Uh, broadband access, cable, DSL or wireless, whatever is your choice or in the end of the day, it's probably the employer that's going to have to pay for all this. And VPN router or VPN client software ins installed on the computer. Additional components might include the wireless AP or wireless access point. Corporate components. These are uh, corporate components are VPN capable routers. So they only need a VPN capable router. Or if they have too many VPNs, too many teleworkers, then they're going to have something called a device that is made just for VPN 
it's called VPN concentrator multifunction security appliances like firewalls and so on and authentication and central management devices so for example authenticating for many VPN teleworker um, it's not going to be done locally on the VPN router maybe you're going to use some uh, another external server something like uh, radius or TACAX thank you very much for watching this section 6.1 teleworking please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe the next video is going to be 6.1 comparing broadband solutions bye bye